In following video, we are going to demonstrate how to use an curve expert to generate standard curve for ELISA uh, data analysis and calculate the concentrations of targeted protein. Before we start, um, to uh, be having your data sets ready, and then go to our website, qsavet.com, and visiting technical resources, click ELISA data analysis. From this page, you will be able to download the um, Curve Expert. So I already had download, so I'll just click and uh, run the wrap, uh, run app. So um, this will be the interface of ex um, Expert cur uh, Curve Expert, and. Uh, so simply, um, so the x y value will be uh, corresponding to the OD uh, value and the concentration. So simply copy those numbers and uh, right click here, paste, and then find this menu, run curve x, uh, run the curve finder. So the software will apply all those models. Um, to find the most fit curve for those data sets. So, okay. So the, um, the app will rank all those models. So you will find that the rational function, um, the rank the top one, which means that is the most fit, those data sets. So you will see the correlation uh, coefficient number um, R is very close to the number one, and the standard deviation is only three. So, which means that this curve is the most fit. Uh, those data sets. Uh, you will see the three, the number three rank Harris model. Um, the standard deviation is way higher, and the R value is also smaller than the top one rational function. So we will take the rational function curve. Um, so that's the how we generate the curve. The next step will be calculating the concentration of the samples. To start, um, go to the info. Uh, you'll find the function, the curve functions with the coefficients number A, B, C, D. Uh, so simply copy to the Excel file. So here's the function. Um, those are the scientific number. Make sure you change it to general so that you will see the full length of the uh, those efficient number. Then trying to uh, just uh, copy this function. Here. So substitute the A, B, C, D as those numbers uh, and uh, X as the OD of the sample, average sample. Um, so A would be minus 35.2828380093. B would be One eight eight two six eight two nine three eight multiply one point two one six delete and the C substituted with the C the equation number would be two point zero three um seven one seven eight eight four seven. Um, multiply the sample one OD number, then substitute D minus, excuse me, minus seven 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 zero two eight six seven two. 
multiply. Sample one optical density square. So you will have eighty six point three nine one three. Um, to cross check, um, we can use in the analyzer function of the curve. So right click up the curve. This analyzer. Um, or you can just uh, control L uh, will also um, pop up those calculate so type in 1.261 um, so it's 86.3913 so that's exactly the number so um, our function everything we we'll do uh, is right uh, number is uh, correct so just um, pull these numbers down, you will have the concentration of the sample 2 and the sample 3. Okay, um, lastly, um, you can copy the graphs back to the um, Excel or other format, so you can use it in another way. Okay, uh, before we end, um, there's one thing you have to pay attention to. Um, that is the pretext to determine the appropriate, appropriate dilution factors and make sure in the concentration of the type of protein samples fall into the range of the standard curve. So they are, so make sure that the uh, final result is not outer layer. Uh, beyond the curve. All right, um, that is the how we generate the standard curve and do the calculation. Thank you.